Hi, this is Emmy Moon, and I am a psychic, and I am a card reader of tarot and different oracles, and I give daily card readings, and today I will be giving the reading of the week, um, for week November 17th to November 23rd, and if you come across this video, this is important, after those dates, it's okay, um, this is, the reading will still be very accurate. Um, the way I do it, I have three crystals. One, two, three. And I put a card in front of each crystal. And I ask everyone to choose one before I interpret the meaning. And that will be the message for the week that Spirit has for you. So it's okay if you come upon this video afterwards. It's still accurate and correct. And... You don't have to just disregard it. All right. So I will start the reading now. I love these cars. They have gold. You see that? with these readings and interpret their message clearly. Right. So I have three crystals. Let's look at it like this. And I ask everyone to just take a second right now and choose which one is calling you. Which one is pulling you closer to? everyone right now just to kind of center yourself it's not hard just take a deep breath and then let it out slowly spirit what message you have for me guides what message you have for me angels what message you have for me god ancestors what is it that i need to know what are you nudging me about this week? What do I need to know? What's coming or what message? Okay, now everyone choose the card. Choose the crystal. Okay, that one, that's the one that's calling to you. There's no wrong, there's no right. That's, that's the card. And now I'm going to begin by interpreting each message, each card. So you chose the first one. Seven of Swords in reverse. Let's look at it first. Upright. Seven of Swords. Wow. This is a sneaky little fellow, right? You see how there's a camp behind him? And he's taking his swords. No, they don't have the, the trail along, but he's taking his swords and um, the original card in the weight, you'll see him tiptoeing and sneaking away. So this is someone kind of being sneaky and leaving the situation self stealthy, right? In reverse, though, 
It's, it's a positive card for me, I feel that. Seven of Swords in Reverse. Has there been someone cheating you out of something? Has there been someone cheating behind your back? Cheating you out in something? They're going to get caught. Um, this card talks about things being revealed. Especially people hiding things behind your back. Um, secrets or stealing. Anything of that sort. It's going to be revealed. This week, you will be... The sneaky people in your life will be revealed. There's going to be a situation where probably you have, you got wind of it, but you didn't exactly know. And the cheater will be revealed. Things are going to come out in the open. And you know what? It's because they left tracks and um, trails. And they wasn't, they didn't do it, um, they didn't really think their plan out so well, and they're going to get caught. So I feel that things are going to be revealed this week to you, um, especially things that was hidden from you, or meant to be hidden. It shows that it will be revealed. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so we have card number two. Page of Wands in reverse. Wow, so let's look. <laughs> let's look first at this guy. All right, so what's that in his hand? Book. And from what I have over here, the page of wands, oops, okay. The page of wands in reverse, to me it's like gossip. All right. Um, that talks about news and messages in, in regards to artistic creation, you know, Things are artistic, things that people are conversating about, just kind of going sour, all right? Um, creative ideas going, going the opposite direction, you know, people being frustrated about it, you know? Um, and it also, for me, Page of Wands in reverse, I think it talks about bad news in regards to babbling and gossip. That's how I read that card. And whenever I see it, it's like maybe even it's coming from a young person, you know, immature conversations, you know. Um, it says if you focus on writing or things in regards to work, it says you're probably going to have issues at work and probably issues with people at work and conversations not going for the best all right so don't get caught up into gossip don't get caught up into little petty um arguments as well you know and it says stay focused on any kind of artwork or any kind of written things that you're doing right now or your creative ideas you might not feel in sync to them this week all right it might be a, a bit scattered and let's go for the third one real quick so if you chose this one, Nine of Swords in Reverse, that's a good one. Oh wow, see all the cards are reversed this week. Nine of Swords in Reverse, so let's first look up. Wow, rough night. This person cannot sleep. This person can't focus. There's too much on her or his mind right now. The Nine of Swords talks about anxiety, stress, too many things going on that it, you can't even focus. You you can't even sleep. There's no rest. There's just so much on your mind. It's just, uh, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do. I'm worried in bed and these thoughts kind of haunt you all night long. They just haunt you. And when it's in reverse, this is the best. This is a card you want to see in reverse. It's a release from this. <sighs> wow. I could rest. I could actually have peace. I could have a good night's sleep. It's like a release from all this anxiety and this tension. So if you've been going through some heavy things, it shows that this is the breaking point and things will turn around for you. So I was going to say amen. <laughs> So it's almost like I'm having a burden over my back and a peace of mind will come from you after a lot of heavy um, restful nights and a lot of heavy things on your mind. Alright, and one final card I will be drawing for the week 
in general. It's the full card in reverse. <laughs> Everything is in reverse, and I swear I shuffled that deck really well. Don't do things that you know is going to land you in the gutter. Don't do things that is against you know if you know you're gonna get burned do not walk into the fire don't walk into the flame if you know that you're gonna get burned all right the full card in reverse is that you you clearly know this is not the best route for you you shouldn't do this it's gonna wind up bad you know that inner little conscience you have is saying i shouldn't do this i know it's gonna go wrong and you do it anyway. Maybe curiosity is getting the best of you. Don't let that happen. Your inner voice won't lie to you. Your spirit won't lie to you. Your guys won't lie to you. All right? Watch out what you're doing and listen to that inner voice because this chances are if your mind and spirit is telling you, no, don't do it, and even past experiences has showed you that you kept going, you will get burned. You're going to get burned again. All right? So don't do anything foolish when you know what the outcome will be. All right? All right, everyone, and this is Emmy Moon. You can like me on Facebook, Psychic Emmy Moon, where I upload videos often and post posts about spirituality, divination, and I do some free contests on reading from time to time. Um, visit my website if you like a reading as well, emmymoon.com. Take care. God bless.